This video is brought to you by YT Andrew Paul Tech Repairs. If you have a console, laptop, computer or Macbook in need of repair in the UK or the EU then have a look in the description below this video for details on how to contact us in order to organise your repair. Hi hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's video and today we're going to be taking a look at an Xbox One with no startup animation. So if you've been following some of our other tutorials on how to reset or reformat your Xbox hard disk drive you may find that at the end of the process when you actually come to start your machine you no longer see the boot animation so the green screen you used to see uh, when you used to start your machine you may have noticed doesn't appear anymore and in fact what you actually end up with is a black screen with uh, you know no boot animation and then eventually after a minute or so the dashboard pops up so I'll just show you what we mean. So, right now, uh, I have an Xbox at the side of me, which I've replicated this fault on. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start it up. Apologies if you can hear some noise in the background. My wife is currently trying to bath my daughter, and she doesn't like it, so she screams a lot. <laughs> okay, so the machine is on, and it's currently booting. So, what you'll end up finding is... Is that the screen will remain black so rather like it is now so it will take it a minute or so and basically the issue is caused by a missing file and we'll show you what that file is and where to get it so for the time being while you're waiting and here we go the dashboard is just about to load there we go and we're back in Okay, so there you go. So we're back in the dashboard. You notice there there's no boot animation from our machine. Okay, so we'll fix that for you. It's really quick, really simple. So while you are waiting there, if you have a look in the description of this video, you see a link to a zip file called bootanimations.zip. And basically that contains the relevant file uh, for you to fix this issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut this Xbox down, get the hard disk out, we'll join us back on the, on the PC, and uh, let's get this fixed. Right, okay, so we have our Xbox hard disk drive out of our Xbox One at the moment and we have it connected to our laptop via a USB to SATA connector. Of course, you probably already know how to do that considering you've probably already followed one of our videos or another video very similar on YouTube. So, what you need to do is download that uh, bootanimations.zip file we pointed you to earlier. Now I've done that already and I've placed it into a folder called CXB1. It doesn't really matter where you download it to as long as you know where it is so you can find it. What we're going to do then is we're going to open that zip file and you'll find there's two folders in there. There's one called Xbox One Fat and S and then there's a folder for Xbox One X. Now depending on what machine this is that you're doing this to will depend on what folder you're going into. So the Xbox One Fat is the original big bulky thing and the Xbox One S, of course, the nice new shiny white one. And of course, the Xbox One X, if you are very, very posh and you have one of those. Now, in our particular instance today, we are looking at an Xbox One S. So we're going to go into there. And the relevant boot anim.dat file can be found within. And the same for the Xbox One X folder, if you happen to have one of those. What we're going to do is we are going to extract the boot anim.dat file to our X drive system update partition and we're going to put it in the A folder and we're going to say OK to that. So that's going to extract that bootanim.dat uh, file to our A folder on our X drive. So if we go with via the Windows Explorer into the X drive and the A folder we'll now see we have this bootanim.dat file here which is 32 meg roughly in size. We're going to right click and we're going to copy that we're going to go back to the root of our X drive. We're going to go into the B folder. We're going to right click in there and we're going to say paste. So we now have this bootanim.dat file in both our B folder and of course our A folder. Okay, lovely. That should be enough to sort it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out of that. Now we're going to go to our remove USB devices and we're going to eject our Xbox hard disk.
Okay, we can safely remove that from the computer now. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll remove that. We'll reinstall the hard disk drive into our Xbox and hopefully now we'll have a boot animation. All right, okay, then, ladies and gentlemen. So now we have our Xbox hard disk drive installed back in our console, and our One S, in our instance, is all nicely reassembled and ready to go again. So remember, last time we just had a blank screen and nothing else. So we're going to start it up now. Hopefully, we'll see a boot animation. So hopefully, we'll get the green screen in our case. So hopefully, you heard the machine start there. And if you give it a minute. We're ready for it. Hey, there we go. So, nice, easy, quick one there for you. Uh, but I've had a few people ask me recently as to what causes it and uh, how they can fix it. So, a couple of minute tutorial video there for you just to uh, get that reinstated and get it back on your Xbox and working again. Because I know how frustrating it is because, you know, you're not sure whether the thing's hung and whether it's broken or whether it's working or what the hell it's doing. So, uh, hopefully you found that useful and you've learned something there today ladies and gentlemen so as always thank you very much for watching please remember to comment rate and subscribe to the channel uh, if you've any questions or any comments please feel free to pop them below uh, if you are in need of a repair on your own machine or macbook or games console or anything of that nature feel free to drop us a message uh, my business email is uh, ytandrewpaul at outlook.com the link is in the description uh, if you like say if you want to arrange a repair or get a quote for a repair but then by all means or you know you want some console components by all means drop me a line there with what you need what you want and uh, i'll do my best to get back to you and get a price to you um, if you can leave uh, the comments and questions either in the comments below private message on here or on twitter my dm box is inbox to up is open to everybody on there uh, Twitter handle is at whiteyandrewpaul. Uh, like I say, if you can leave the general comments and questions uh, away from my outlook.com email address, ladies and gentlemen, it'd be much appreciated. The only reason being, like I say, that's my business email address and uh, trying to talk to customers and, and get quotes to people and things like that is made a little bit harder if uh, I have to trail up to a couple of hundred emails uh, just with general questions that, that could be below. Um, so if you can abide by that one, small rule then uh, that'd be very much appreciated ladies and gentlemen like i say otherwise though feel free to hit me up wherever else you like and uh, i'll do my best to get back to you i do check things really really regular on youtube and twitter and things like that so uh you know my, my business email f for questions and general comments and things like that it doesn't get answered any quicker um so like i say because ultimately I'm, I'm trying to get back to my customers and, and things like that uh, via there so like i say any comments or questions just pop them below that'd be very much appreciated so anyway nice quick one for you there today thanks for watching hopefully you've found that useful like i said earlier so uh from me for now from this xbox you've been brilliant i've been andy paul and uh thank you from me and the xbox for watching and i'll see you shortly on the next video so from me it's bye bye for now Many thanks for watching then ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, if you have then why not check out these recommendations below. Also, please remember to comment, rate and of course subscribe to the channel if you found this useful, we've plenty more content on there and there's lots more to come.